groundbreaking research could help members of the stolen generation find a way back to their country. New DNA evidence confirms Aboriginal populations in Australia settled on their land 50,000 years ago, soon after arriving on the continent. A warning, this story contains images of deceased Indigenous people. Through the mid-1900s, anthropologists Norman Tyndale and Joseph Birdsill led a series of expeditions across Australia, collecting small hair clippings from Aboriginal people. Those clippings have now helped map the first movements of Indigenous people in the country. We could actually trace back 50,000 years in time because once people had colonised parts of Australia, they stayed put. Mitochondrial DNA extracted from the hair shows Aboriginal people arrived in Australia when it was still connected to New Guinea. Populations quickly spread, working their way around the coast, then remained in the same regions for the next 50,000 years. We're not seeing signs of major war or major famines or people having to get up and move all over the place. It almost looks like what we're seeing is Aboriginal people being able to live in balance. Ghana elder Uncle Lewis grew up in regional South Australia and has been working with scientists from the University of Adelaide and the South Australian Museum on the project. He had his hair sample taken by Tyndale in the 30s. Well, that was uh, 1938, I think, and uh, he cut my hair. I always remember cutting my hair. The findings could also help those who were forcibly removed from their land into missions find their origins. They're looking for family history, and looking to connect back to country. This is only the first stage of this project. Scientists have thousands of other documents and hair samples to analyse, but only with the consent of family groups. Plenty more history waiting to be discovered. Nicola Gage, ABC News, Adelaide.